Today we are back in the ocean and this video tells the story of how we find 2,000 rare blue axolotls. Please be sure to watch to the end of the video to see just exactly how we take on this challenge. Also, only a small percentage of you seem to be subscribed when watching my videos. Now, I would say that you would make my 2,000 axolotls very happy if you subscribed. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Enjoy the video. Now, not too long ago, we found the rarest axolotl in all of Minecraft. The rare blue axolotl that we found in Minecraft Hardcore. This rare mob only has a 1 in 1200 chance of spawning naturally. And in the more recent update, you can't even find this mob anymore. It just simply doesn't exist. But then being the super intense Minecraft players that we are, we MLG bred our blue axolotl and first try, we got another blue axolotl. This means that we can basically mass produce these blue fellas and what good is only having two of them. So today, I took on the challenge of finding 2,000 of these blue rare axolotls. But Jensen, why in the name of all the Minecraft gods would you want 2,000 rare blue axolotls? Well, that's a good question, inanimate viewer. Here's a quick breakdown why. So what's he found 100 blue axolotls? A cookie god found 200, then tended tadpole 2 got 1000 blue axolotls. But then the funniest thing happened, tended tadpole 2 commented on one of my videos, to which I had a very normal and calm reaction. Oh my god, he commented on my video. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah! So it's time to get to the point that all of you clicked on this video for. Finding 2000 rare blue axolotls. What could go wrong? Okay fellow gamers, now to reach the goal of 2000 blue axolotls, we're gonna have to breed these blue fellas a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But axolotls are picky eaters. For them to breed, they need to eat tropical fish. Out of all the things, they have to eat tropical fish. Now I've made a little bit of a temporary spot to start breeding them, but we're gonna need a much, much bigger place to keep all of them once we have 2,000. But if we keep on talking, we will never start breeding these guys. So let's get them down. And now we need to go and find some tropical fish to feed these fellas. I found the tropical fish. Oh wait, that's just cod. But there's the tropical fish, let's go. Okay, get all of the buckets out. That's all that matters in this world. Here, fishy, fishy, fishies. I promise where we're going, nothing bad will happen. I promise. <laughs> get in the bucket, get in the fucking bucket. And last one. There we go. So we've got a decent amount of fish for a bit. That should be enough just for the time being. But we'll definitely need to come back here a lot more. All right, blue buddies, grubs up. Just like that, they should make a bebe. Oh, it's so cute. This is definitely going to pay off in the long run. It, 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 it will, right? Getting 2,000 of these will pay off, right? Right? Now, one of the biggest time constraints of this entire project is that we have to wait for them to be ready to breed again. It takes about five minutes for them to want to breed again. So that's going to be the longest part of this entire process. Just waiting for them to be ready to make more babies. So I've put a chest down. Now we can just store all of our fish here so they don't take up our whole inventory. And then we can just keep them coming to these little guys. But I think it might be time for them to breed again. Let's check. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. No, no. Oh. All right, take two. Let's see. No! So while I wait for them to get ready to breed again, I might as well get some more little fishies to feed them. I swear to you, fish have the most annoying AI in the entire game. Let's play a game of who wants to go in the bucket. Three, two, one, and another baby. Let's go. And just like that, we have four blue axolotls. Only 1,996 to go. Yay. You're only having babies with your own children. This not okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so we have six blue axolotls now, and this is pretty much all we have to do. Just get tropical fish, breed them, get tropical fish, breed them again, go crazy, do it again. Same process. So I'll get back to you guys when we actually make some good progress. A few moments later. Okay, so after an afternoon of breeding and a lot of pain, we managed to get 200 blue axolotls. 
Now, ignoring the fact of the sheer amount of lag that this brings, and also the fact that we're only 10% of the way there, we're making good progress, I would say. But the thing is, this island is only so big, and we're running out of space because it's getting very overpopulated in this little space. So we're going to have to find a new place to house all of our 2,000 blue axolotls once we get them. But I'm just grateful that we're past the beginning section because in the very beginning, it's a very slow and sad process. But now that we have about 200 blue axolotls, the process should start speeding up. But it is no joke, the lag is gonna get real, so we definitely have to find a new place for these blue axolotls to stay and also make sure that it's far away from our base. But don't worry, I might be dumb, but I'm definitely not stupid. And that is because your boy Jensen just made the new outline of the new tank for the blue axolotl. Well, it's not gonna really be a tank, it's kind of just like a circle that I've outlined and I don't really know what I want to do yet. But I know it's a circle. And then it's gonna go down to the ground and then we're gonna put a bunch of blue axolotls in it so yeah i'm realizing that as this video goes on and on i'm basically making more and more work for myself but hey for the content right <laughs> and then during the video i'll just be making slow progress on this new home for the blue axolotls i'll see you guys when i have 300 blue axolotls a few moments later all right gamers it's update time and we just managed to get 300 blue axolotls now it took some time but we managed to get it done also fun fact we just hit day 500 on our minecraft hardcore world that is absolutely insane we've managed to make a half a thousand days in this world without dying so <laughs> that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you also another update on the tank island base thing i don't know what you want to call this comment down below what i should call this we've made some decent progress i've managed to make a nice perimeter around here where the axolotls can never escape and the bottom is covered with sand just the way i like it but now it's lacking a bit of character it definitely needs to have some decoration in there but obviously that's going to take quite a while so here's a condensed version of everything that i'm going to do in order to make this place look pretty so here we go the list of what we're going to need to decorate this place is stone cobblestone andesite deep slate turf boat sand sandstone jungle wood kelp more sand phantoms die it dropped a trident what more wood and dirt okay so we finally got everything that we need in order to start decorating this place now it's time to give this place some character so let's transform this barren wasteland through a time lapse let's go Now the build is still in progress, there are definitely a few things that I could improve or add or take away. So we've managed to make a new home for our 300 blue axolotls, good, but it's still not enough. The goal of this video is to get 2000 blue axolotls, so we're only 15% of the way there. And that's why it's time to get back to breeding. Alright, come here fishies, yeah you thought you'd never see me again huh? You were wrong. That's a nice life you have. Let me take that away. 
I'm sorry your mom didn't tell you you would be seafood one day. It happens. Holy, that's a lot of blue axolotls. Jeez, I can't move. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blue axolotls. And I'm dying. So gamers, the process is quite simple. All we have to do is casually collect 200 fishes at a time and then f casually feed them to 200 blue axolotls to make them breed 100 new baby axolotls. Casually, right? And the reason we keep on breeding them to get 100 blue axolotls each time is that 100 is just an easy number to work with. Okay, so after timing the process of getting 200 fish and feeding it to 200 blue axolotls to get 100 baby blue axolotls, that took all approximately 39 minutes. Now, if we times 39 minutes by 16 more trips that we need to make, that is about 624 minutes in total. Now, if I do the math and put my only two brain cells at work, that equals about 10 hours of work. There's a little thing called sleep, you know, which I'm not going to be getting today because I have to do 10 hours of this. Great. Absolutely amazing. On the bright side, though, gamers, is that now I finally have 400 blue axolotls. The only problem is I'm slowly starting to regret my life decisions because this is going to take really long. This is going to take really long. But you clicked on this video to see 2000 rare blue axolotls and you're going to get 2000 blue axolotls. So I will see you guys again when I can get some decent progress. Back to breeding. Okay, okay, okay. Gamers, my math might have been a bit off. This definitely took a lot longer than I planned. But to be honest, I don't really care because I'm currently brain dead right now. It's currently 1 in the morning by me. And I've been grinding for much longer than just 10 hours. I think I might be going crazy. Because the last time I saw you guys, we were approximately on day 510. And now we are currently on day... 659 and a lot of weird stuff has been happening since we last spoke so as you can see i've done a bit of building on the island tank and another weird thing is that i managed to find three tridents from drowns while recording this video that's how long this has taken you can google how rare tridents are to get them naturally it takes a while and that's how long i've been taking to get this job done and also for some reason there's a guardian in my boat like i said i don't care because i'm currently brain dead right now i can't think i'm just too tired now i'm not proud of doing all of this off camera because there was a lot done in about the space of i don't know like 15 to 18 hours but i tried to keep the video as short and interesting as possible for you guys so i do hope that you guys enjoy this video i might have to go for therapy after this video but it's fine for the content right the game is we finally did it. After all this time, we finally got 2,000 rare blue axolotls. And as you can see, it is really, really laggy right now. So currently in this island tank, there is about 1,500 blue axolotls. And as you can see, my FPS is currently dying right now. And the reason this giant floating block is in the sky is because there's another tank here with about 250 blue axolotls in this tank and about 150 blue axolotls in that tank. So altogether, that's about 1,900 blue axolotls. And the last 100 blue axolotls, I had to take a bit further away from that island just to make sure that, you know, my PC doesn't explode. So I'm busy keeping the last 100 blue axolotls in the OG axolotl island right here. The sheer amount of effort I've put into this video is pretty unreal. <laughs> I'm very, very tired right now. I cannot wait to go to bed. I'm not even sure that what I'm saying in this recording right now is making sense. I'm a bit too tired to care right now. And believe me, I never want to see a bucket or any tropical fish in my life ever again. And just like that, we managed to get 2,000 blue axolotls. Was it worth it? I don't know. Do I need therapy? Probably. Am I going to bed right now? I definitely am. Cheers, guys.